Now though, to make sure that you get the most out of your time at university, look no further than to your union of students. So we're gonna try and head over live to Sile, who's at the heart of Derby's union of students to find out more. Thank you, Radzi. I am here at Blends, the union of students coffee shop, and I am joined by the union of student officers, Corey, Josh, Emily, and Nina. And I'm really excited to be here and talk to these guys. Not only when I was at uni was I a regular here at Blends, but I also um, was a member of many different societies, including ACS and the Gospel Choir. And I met some wonderful students and went to some great events that other societies made. Um, here's a video of a little taster of what the Union of Students is all about. <laughs> the Union of Student Officers, Corey, who is a union president, and George, who is a vice president of activities. So we're going to start with Corey first. So Corey, what is uh, the Union of Students and why do universities have one? Thank you, sir. So as you can see there, we're involved in uh, a lot of different things across the university. Um, but I suppose our main role is to be an independent, uh, charitable organisation. Uh, we receive an amplified student voice uh, across every level of the institution. And that's just so that students can really be co-creators in our educational journey. Uh, and I suppose as a union, we really pride ourselves in being part of that journey so students can make their experience, particularly at Derby, what they, what they want it to be. And you know, you guys being part of that journey, when the students arrive, you know, new students and all students coming back, you have Freshers Week. So can you tell us a bit more about what Freshers Week is all about? Absolutely, yeah. So we've just had Freshers Week. Uh, it's been really busy here, as you can imagine. Uh, and this year we committed to doing a series of in-person and virtual events. Just given the current climate, we thought it was important to give students uh, an option in what they felt most comfortable to do. So we've just had a whole series of events from kind of comedy nights, uh, mini golf and a quiz with the officers. Uh, we've just been through our process of welcoming all those new and returning students back. And it's been really exciting. And now I'm going to have to ask, um, when you became the union president, and now union presidents are elected by the students, so how did you feel when you found out that you're now the president? Uh, it was a really exciting time, yeah. It was, um, it was amazing. Uh, just to um, be in a role where I can really uh, be, like you said, we're elected by the students, uh, for the students, and for students to kind of uh, put their trust in us as officers, to really um, exemplify what they want out of their term is a really uh, exciting position to be in. Thank you so much, Corey. Now, Josh, um, you are the Vice President of Activities. So what kind of things as a student can we get involved in? So uh, your Union of Students offers uh, free streams of activities from our amazing sports teams. We offer everything from uh, rugby union or to the more niche sports like climbing. Or we can get involved in one of our weird and wonderful societies. Everything, as I say, from ACS to um, more academic uh, driven societies like psychology. Or again, the more sort of out there specialist interest societies like esports. And then for the students more driven with volunteering, we do have something called student-led services. So um, if you want to get involved in our student media team, Phantom, or our charity-driven uh, Raise and Give team. So they're all fantastic uh, raising opportunities for students. And what is your job role? So I'm Vice President of Activities here at your uni students. Uh, anything uh, extracurricular, it comes under my remit. So uh, any problems or want to start a new uh, sport team or anything like that, come speak to me anytime. That's exciting. And I'm going to ask you a similar question to Corey. So when you found out that you were the Vice President of Activities, what was going through your mind? It was such a surreal experience, um, the fact that uh, 
students who were my peers voted like based on my manifesto. I think I can represent their student voice um, to them to like my best ability. Mm -hmm. It was surreal, and I'm still not quite over it yet. So take every moment as it comes. <laughs> and you know, there's something called varsity. When I was at uni, I loved it. I want you to explain what varsity is to our viewers. So Varsity is an annual competition we hold with our amazing sports teams where we uh, travel or have it at home to other universities such as Hertfordshire and again we get to showcase how good our sports team are um, every year, that kind of thing. We're going to win it this year hopefully, <laughs> we're going to get it. Team Derby, we've got this. Yes, and um, the events last year, did you go to a lot of them? Oh, all of them, any chance I can. That's the, like, my one piece of advice to students is get involved with you and the students. Like, it's a great way to meet friends, volunteer, so just dive, dive in head first. Mm -hmm. And you being part of the uh, Student of Union, have you met, um, what are your experiences of meeting different people? Uh, it's, it's amazing, every day I get to you know, meet so many different people, I've got into the position where I am now, mm -hmm. just through like, off the back of a meeting, again like with my fantastic officer team I've got, it's, it's, it's a great experience. And now we're going to hear a video of Varsity. Welcome back to Blends with me, Sile Sibanda, and I am joined by the Union of Student Officers. We now have Emily and Nina. We're going to start off by talking to Emily, who is the Vice President of Welfare. Hi, Emily. Hello. Uh, so, Emily, um, what kind of support does the Union um, give to students? So, I work really closely with the Union Advice Team, um, and they can support you from academic issues, so if you've got a, an academic offence, to housing issues, so if you're in student accommodation or student housing, then they can help support you in anything like that. Um, I also work with all part-time officers um, who represent equality, diversity and inclusivity. So there's a part-time officer for disabilities, LGBTQ+, and all different areas of students, um, just groups of students. And you know, during this time with the pandemic and a lot of students coming to uni, some having to move away from home, it's really important that there's somebody there who they can talk to. So. Um, do you have any activities that you guys plan and ways for students to contact you when they need that extra support? Yeah, definitely. Um, so the advice team and I, we put on uh, distressable events. Um, so we're going to be running those again this year. Um, we have the Liberation Campaign Month, so Black History Month is coming up, and then we're doing um, some extra ones this year. We've included a mental health one because of the current situation. We felt it was really important to address mental health and to, you know, showcase that it's not um, it's not something you need to hide. It's something you can come to and talk to people about. And all of our part-time equality, diversity, and inclusivity officers, they have an email address. Um, and if they can't sort it out, they'll pass it on to myself or the advice team, and we can show signpost the best place to go. I love that. And uh, one thing about being a union student officer, you don't have to do a, a course in like politics or anything like that. Um, you came from a different course, so can you tell me a bit about the course that you did? Yeah, so um, I did a four-year degree in primary school teaching, um, and. It was obviously about teaching uh, primary school children. Um, I have a qualified teacher status now from that. Um, but there was nothing in it essentially about welfare or advice. Um, but because of the, the, the sort of nature of teaching and the, you know, looking after students and safeguarding, it fits quite nicely within the welfare remit. But that doesn't mean you have to come from 
that kind of academic course yeah. to do the welfare role. No. And do you think that you being in this role is going to help you um, in the future when you go into teaching, for example? Oh, definitely. One of my biggest passions while I was teaching was the mental health of children. So I felt this role was really um, beneficial to me to discover more about not just mental health, but students and um, supporting students in a caring role like this. And I feel like I've, it's, it's definitely going to help me um, improve my knowledge. And when you started university, did you ever think of becoming an officer um, in the student union? It never crossed my mind. I, was, I wasn't aware of the full-time officers until I think about my second or third year. Um, and so it was definitely a bit of a, a surprise sort of going into the role and thinking of a manifesto and considering all the different things I had to do within this role. Thank you very much. And Nina, you are the Vice President of Education. Yes, so can you tell us a bit about your role? Uh, so the core of my role is making sure that academic representation and our structure of representation works and that every single student has a voice at every single level of university and really, really um, makes sure that their journey reflects what they want it to be. Mm. Um, so I oversee the programme reps, the part-time officers and then um, I'm kind of the top level of that pyramid of voice. And do you know if anybody wanted to be a programme rep, um, they can just apply and um, you give them the support that they need. Um, um, so reps are uh, elected um, yep. through elections on the course and then, th then we give them the support. So it's all a democratic process at the union. And when you found out that you got the role, how did you feel? It, it still doesn't feel real some days. I just wake up, I think, this is what I do for a living and it's the wackiest job ever but it's also the best job ever. And what course um, did you do at I did fine art, um, so this is very different I think <laughs> than what I studied but I was very involved with the union throughout my time as a student, first as a, pro a programme rep and then as a part-time officer. And what do you hope um, to do in your role? Uh, I just want to make a change, I want to make a positive impact on every single student at the university. I love that. And what's one thing that surprised you about um, being Vice President of Education? How much there is to do and how many <laughs> meetings you sit in. Uh, but I really, my key aim is to bring the student voice to every single meeting that I go to and make sure that that voice is heard and listened to. I love that. And um, thank you guys so much for speaking to me. Um, it makes me want to come back and be a student. Now, um, one question for you guys. Um, what, um, what's one thing that you're looking forward to um, when everybody's back at university? What's one thing that you're looking forward to doing? Um, would you like to start? On yeah, that? I can go first. Um, so as a welfare role, my role is very centred around the students. Mm -hmm. So up until now, it's been a lot of planning. It's been a lot of talking to my part-time officers. But I'm really looking forward to seeing the students, talking to students, getting to know their opinions and how we can support them further. Um, we've been in a lot of meetings with the part-time officers in the university, trying to make sure that the return um, is as comfortable and as safe as possible. Um, we've, if we've seen that there's something that's not been done quite right, a part-time officer has come to me immediately and we've gone, OK, let's see how we can get this sorted. Gone to the university and have got it sorted within a week. So I'm looking forward to getting that feedback from the students and interacting with them a lot more. I love that. Nina? Yeah, I'm just excited about the influx of ideas. Every single generation of students brings something new in. Uh, so I'm just really curious to see what they have to say. Thank you guys so much for having me. And there is so much to get involved in, whatever, whatever your interest. And it's a great way to make new friends. And don't forget, you can have a look um, for at the Union Student Yourself by booking a campus tour.